Alrighty then, so I'm back. And there seems to be a note waiting for us. For a while I thought I had really escaped this place, but despite the trees and the flora, I think it's actually another room. I did, however, find deer, so I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds, though. There are deer here? And who are you? The other guy didn't make it this far. Or did he make it this far and... Eh, strange. Look at deer. Aww. Oh my god! Well, that was lovely. I don't know what type they are, but those definitely are not deer. I tried sneaking, sneaking up on one the other day to kill it for some food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing, but I finally managed to board mo most of them. Board up most of them. Hopefully I can find another way out of here. I guess you didn't. Hey, look, an axe. Yes. My fondest wishes have come true. I now have a weapon. Okay, I don't know what those were, but those were freaky, and let's not kill any more deer. Yeah, I'm just not even going to bother killing you guys anymore. I just want to get far, far away from you. Wait, if the guy boarded them up, that means he came from this direction. Which means someone started from the other end of the house? Oh no! Not this again. Well, this one's not as obnoxious. But now there's some kind of classical music thing playing in my ear. At least it's kind of nice. I could get used to this scary music through this house. But now I have an axe. Bring the classical music back. Oh, well. We'll hopefully be hitting room 600 soon. And if we see Cat Doss again before the end of this episode, I'll read some more about it. I've been seeing these things way too often now. I wonder how many people have actually gone through this house. Out of sheer curiosity. I can't be the only one. I mean, there were those two guys, the one that both didn't make it, but somehow managed to make it farther or from the other direction, kind of thing. Well, the romantic guy probably started the same place I did, but the other guy seem to have started from the end of the house and progressively had to deal with 
worse things. Or he had to start with the worse and work his way up to the more tame stuff. Which seems kind of sad for him. This episode might be really short. I want to try to keep them relatively short because I know people don't want to sit through a 20 minute video of almost me running through each room going oh, I'm so bored or oh no it's chasing me <laughs> ah it's back on the last room of this floor okay save that hmm I wonder if I could get through some more floor axe top till you drop but never mind. Okay. We'll just get us down and then I'll end the episode. Mm. It seems Tepid's having a problem with some job he's running and I might have to go help him. Uh, why can't he ever take care of stuff by himself for once? Oh well. <sighs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Do try to stay out of trouble. Or at least... Invite me to it. Bye.